you only get a few shots of looking through a periscope. What you do is you make a guess as to where the target is and how fast it's going and what direction. It takes a quick look around with a periscope. It'll be supplemented by other things, but it's really all on his shoulders. Distance 2,200 yards and decreasing. O'Kane calls the destroyer's range. Morton plots the attack. Fire three. Three firing. As he fires three torpedoes, it costs Morton an eighth of Wahoo's ordnance, but increases the odds he'll sink the target before it sinks him. When the first three torpedoes miss, Morton increases the destroyer's speed in his calculation to 20 knots and fires. They miss again. Wahoo has expended its ammunition to no avail. Worse, they have drawn the attention of the sub-destroyer. You're a submarine officer. As long as you're submerged, not bothering anybody, you're invisible and you're safe. Every time you fire a torpedo, if it's visible, that gives the other side an incentive to get you. But Morton does not attempt to dive into darkness. He leaves the periscope up, announcing Wahoo's exact position. He has just two more torpedoes loaded in the forward tubes. The destroyer charges. Ramming a submarine to damage its hull is a crude but effective tactic. For Wahoo, the close proximity leaves no time to evade if its torpedoes miss. The only option left is an extremely risky shot. Sailors call it down the throat. Morton aims a shot straight at the ship's narrow bow. He has no other option. If he doesn't, the destroyer has all the speed and maneuverability to pound him into the, into the silt, and there's nothing he can do about it. So he's forcing him to attack and trying to change the attack into a situation where he can have an advantage. As the destroyer closes in, Morton's timing has to be perfect. If they fire for more than 1,200 yards, the destroyer has time to evade. But within 700 yards, the torpedo won't have time to arm and detonate. They fire two. They release two torpedoes. flies wide. The skipper and his crew must wait and hope a second torpedo finds its mark. Less than a minute after the previous shot flies wide, the second torpedo to fire, down the throat, lands a direct hit. The blow cripples the destroyer's hull. We got a hit. Wahoo plunges deep under the damaged ship to avoid a collision and escape the carnage. 